Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you how accessories can really help define your personal style. So far I've been doing a lot of essential videos. So I know a lot of you guys are asking me for accessory essentials. There's definitely category essentials, but how general is that? Like if I'm just like, have a hat, have sunglasses, have, you know, a watch, have, like it's so generalized and I really like to get a little bit more specific and have really great examples so you guys can really have like a good grasp on it. So I'm kind of doing a mashup of all kind of accessory talk. We're gonna talk about the iconic accessories, those pieces that never really go out of style. They're hella expensive, FYI, and they're worth the splurge because they never go on sale, they never really lose their value. I'm gonna quickly call them out because I actually don't own any of them. I'm not rich yet. Also, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of my personal style and how I use accessories to define my style, which will in turn maybe get the wheels going for you. And I'm also gonna touch on a few trending items right now. I feel like these style 101 intros are always super long. I'm so sorry, it's like I get so excited for fashion. Okay, so let's talk about jewelry. So actually, if you guys are looking for essential type items for jewelry, I would say to stick with things that are very personal to you. I personally love like dainty gold jewelry. So I have this one here where it says my name and it's in like that chola writing. Um, I love it. I think it's like old English if you guys don't know what chola is. So these are pieces that I'll have for the rest of my life if they don't tarnish. So I really want to get a real gold one. This one is just from nameplate.com. I'll have everything listed in the description box so check that out. So right now a really huge trend are like these gold coin very layered necklaces. So I got this one off Etsy. This one here my friend Lizbeth made and I bought from her. I love to do a lot of dainty jewelry. I feel like that's a little bit more personal so that can be essential to you like maybe things that have been passed down from your mom, boyfriend, your girlfriend, those meaningful type of things. If statement type necklaces speak more to your personal style. Like if you do hoops, hoops can be like your thing. So let's talk about the iconic pieces really quick. A Cartier love bracelet, you guys know the one. I'll put it right here in case you don't, but that one is not gonna lose its value. And also I would say diamond stud earrings. I mean, if you get diamond, then yeah, it's not really gonna lose its value either. So moving on to the next category that can kind of mix in with jewelry, I kind of think, <laughs> are watches. So watches are definitely something that I have always neglected to be honest and I recently actually got rid of them so I was super happy that Daniel Wellington actually sent me this watch and I feel like this kind of face and this finish, everything about it is just so my style. This face is a nice classic essential. So. Daniel Wellington I think has really amazing pieces if you guys want to take a look at that. I love that Daniel Wellington sent me this little rose gold bracelet as well because I really love to kind of play with jewelry and watches together and something so sleek like this is just so my style. I really love sleek dainty type of pieces. So again watches are something that kind of just make your outfit look a little bit more I think professional. A little more chic, a little more finished. It's like that finishing touch without trying too hard. Some iconic watches are the Rolex, the Cartier, not gonna lose its value. You can pass that down to your grandkids, your grandkids, grandkids. Like it's just one of those pieces that are gonna withstand the test of time. So moving on to sunglasses. Sunglasses are such a great way to really complete a look. I love playing around with sunglasses, although I am quite boring because I have actually such a small head that it's hard, it's so hard for me to find some really great shades. In my personal style, and actually these happen to be iconic ones, are Ray-Bans. I love Ray-Bans so much. I think they're classic. Any kind of Ray-Bans, I think these are dope. I also have the Wayfarers that are also like an iconic pair. You can see like how little my head is because these ones sometimes I feel like they're too big but um, I really, really love them. I feel like I need to get them tightened though. <laughs> I also have the Aviators. I have another like tortoise shell one. I just really love Ray-Bans. I feel like they make great quality sunglasses, again, that are gonna stand the test of time. They are gonna be really cool, you know, 20, 30, 40 years from now, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I just really love a Ray-Ban. So any of the Ray-Bans I'm down for and that's my suggestion to you. But of course, you can have so much fun with sunglasses and 
they can really change up your outfit. Like if you are just in maybe something like what I'm wearing, but you put these on and you know, you have like another look. So these are actually sunglasses that are super in right now. They give you that 90s vibe, but then also kind of like Tom Springs vibe. You can definitely play around and discover what your personal style is through sunglasses. So moving on to handbags, I actually do have essentials for you guys. So I have three handbags, like they'll take you through any walk of life, la la la, you know how I've been doing. So these three can really take you from day to night, office, school, etc. I would say to choose a handbag that is kind of like a medium size. This one, I know you guys are probably like, girl, that is so small. I think this is like a great medium size for me because if I get any bigger than this, it just eats up my shape because I am so petite. So I like something of this size. This is my everyday handbag. I love it. It goes with any outfit that I wear. And again, it's black and I love that it's crossbody. So I think a crossbody is a great essential item. So the next essential bag is something a little bit larger, like something that you can carry more than your everyday bag. So maybe even like your laptop can fit in it. So like for school, for work, for traveling. I really love this one. It was sent to me by Teddy Blake. It actually does have the option to crossbody it, but it just looks a little bit too oversized on me. I think it's like, again, a nice, sleek, classic style. It is real leather, so it's gonna wear very well. If you guys don't do real leather because of ethics, I think Matt and Nat have really, really great, clean, streamlined, vegan leather. Their bags are really great. And then the next one is a clutch. So actually this one, I love to use when I go out because I am kind of a, what is it called, a lightweight. So I need my bag to be on me when I go out and I drink or else I'll lose my stuff. I really love this one. I have the option of just carrying it like a clutch and this can actually double as a wallet. It's by Rebecca Minkoff and it has like all the cards here. So. Love this. Again, it's black. It's sleek. I like everything black and sleek. If you didn't know, that just speaks to my personal style. Doesn't mean it needs to be yours. Just like I've been saying with the other accessories, you can really make an outfit pop with, you know, handbags as well. I really love getting different kind of clutches. This is like my no-brainer clutch that always has my back. But I also have other clutches that have like fur, that have, you know, that are velvet, different fabrications, metallic, to really help complement the outfit, whatever I'm wearing. So I do like to explore in handbags as well. I think one for me that really speaks to my personal style is a vintage bag. So I'm going to share this one with you guys. I always like to incorporate at least one piece of vintage into my everyday wardrobe. So this one is a little Mickey Mouse leather satchel that I found in Tennessee actually at a vintage store. Let's call out the iconic bags, the Chanel bag. I'm sure you guys saw that coming. Hermes. Birkin or the Hermes Kelly bag, those are classic items that you can pass down to your little kids and their kids' kids and you know, you can just keep going. They're never gonna lose their value. So if you are willing to splurge on those items, then it won't be a complete loss. So some trends that have been going on in the handbag world, circle bags with like a ring or like a piercing or just circle bags in general. I know Chloe has some, Balmain. Another huge one that I was like kind of getting into, it is called the bum bag and maybe you've seen it. You wear it really high up, like a little fanny pack almost, but you wear it crossbody and it sits like pretty high up on you. So moving on to my next accessory category is hats. So hats, I feel like, can really, really, really define your personal style. If you think of LL Cool J, what do you think of? I think of like that Kangol hat that he totally coined. So you can either take a hat and really, really make it your style. I love these ones. These are actually trending. I feel like for the past like couple years, but it's like everywhere right now, currently, like for fall. They're like fisherman caps, but I think right now they're calling them Baker hats? I think you can really go nuts in the hat department. I feel like hats transform a look even more than sunglasses. You can be wearing like a long maxi like satin slip for instance and you throw on like a beanie and it kind of changes the look of it. Like it could still be like super cool like street style. Or even if you throw on this it kind of like chills out that dress. You can do beanies, you can do baseball caps. Like there are so many different hats for you guys to play around with and I'm gonna tell you something. The way to really coin things is you just wear the crap out of them. You just keep wearing them and people are gonna be like, oh, that's so like that's her style. The one that's really trending right now are berets and I'm actually super stoked on this trend. So this one is from Forever 21 and it is a little black pleather 
beret. Very Dior. So yeah, if you were to wear this hat for two weeks straight, like two weeks straight, people are going to be like, that's your style. That's how easy it is to coin sh That's how it works with a lot of musicians, celebrities. They'll just continuously wear that same style, same style, same style, and it eventually becomes that's their style. And then moving on to my next category, which is scarves. I love a skinny scarf and I love like a bandana scarf. So you can mix that in. You can really have fun with scarves, different shapes. Some iconic scarves are the Hermes scarf. And for a winter scarf, I would say the Burberry scarf. You can pass down to your kids. You can store it away. You, you can resell it and it'll still maintain its value for the most part. Do I know of any like scarf moment that's trending? No. Okay, let's move on. Belts. When I go to a thrift store or a vintage store, I always, always look for belts because I love a vintage belt on an outfit. This is actually one of my favorite belts. So it has the Versace type of coin on it. Stole it from my mom. My mom grew up pretty poor, so I doubt it's Versace unless she scored it. I don't know, at a yard sale or something. <laughs> yeah, just find some cool belts that work for you. I highly, highly suggest going to the thrift store because they have some dope belts, like the buckle on them are so big and like this cool gold and like different shapes. They're real leather, so if that's okay with you, definitely go to the thrift store because you'll save a ton of coin and they're better than what you can find at like H&M and Forever 21 and stuff. So another category that I kind of loop in as an accessory is actually hair, makeup, and perfume. So I'm just gonna talk about these really briefly because makeup can really help complement your outfit. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I, I kinda do that in all my videos, even though I've never mentioned it. Like, there are always tones that go together. If I look at an eyeshadow palette and like create an eye look, then I'm inspired by the makeup and then I'll complement it with whatever I'm wearing or vice versa. Say I'm inspired more from the outfit, then I'll do a makeup look that complements that outfit. So hair and makeup to me are accessories and I think an essential that you can't go wrong with is a red lipstick. I think Ruby Woo is such an amazing color. I think Charlotte Tilbury's Red Carpet Red is an amazing color. Russian Red by MAC as well, an amazing red. So yeah, I think red lipstick is an essential and iconic thing that Really, it can be treated, I think, as an accessory. Perfume, I feel like, again, is an accessory, too. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off now. I feel like I can't hear, and I'm talking so... Nyeh, 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 nyeh. I think you can definitely have your signature scent. I think mine are, like, oh, anything Elizabeth and James, to me, is, like, my signature scent. Sometimes I love dressing, like, very um, androgynous, and then I'll pair it with, like, my Chloe perfume that's very light, very feminine, very floral and then if i'm wearing something like super frilly super girly and i just want to feel a little bit more you know i feel so weird saying like masculine feminine because i'm really trying to go towards more of a gender neutral type of thinking but i've just been so accustomed to you know talking about gender in that kind of way like you know feminine is like frilly and girly and la 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 and like masculine is like suited up so I'm sorry if I offend anyone. I'm really trying to move past those kind of stereotypes, but going on with my example. So if I am wearing something like super, super frilly and, you know, even floral, I don't really wear a lot of florals, but if I'm wearing something floral, I'll grab something more like this. So this one is the Andrea Mac Soft Tension Perfume, and these are unisex perfumes. This one smells really masculine. I'm just going to say masculine so you guys get an idea. It smells like you're walking through the counters at, you know, the cologne section, like that very clean kind of mm. so much for uh trying to go gender neutral but anyways i just wanted to also point that out because i feel like that can also be like an accessory it's like a finishing touch on your outfit i really believe that fashion and style and your outfits and how you feel every single morning when you get dressed should either reflect your mood hopefully you're feeling good or if you're not feeling that good, it puts you in a better mood and it makes you feel confident and, you know, you feel like a badass before you walk out the door. I know there was a lot of information in this video. Now, looking back, I'm like, I probably should have, like, split it up. Oh, iconic perfumes, Chanel number 5. 
yeah, I feel like anything Chanel, anything Cartier, anything Hermes is like iconic. So all these videos that I've done so far, thus far, can I use that? Yeah, thus far. They've really been like the building blocks, the foundation of style. So if you guys are ready to move on beyond basics, give this video a like and we can talk about fall fashion, the autumn winter 2017, 2018, what's big, how we can use it and incorporate it into our wardrobe. So let me know if you guys are ready for that because I'm super excited to continue to share my love of fashion, my knowledge of fashion, my obsession with fashion with you guys and we're going to have fun with fashion and style and all of that together. Super looking forward to it and I hope you guys are as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.